Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do your weekly energy read for the sign of Leo. First off, I want to say, um, yes, I'm very aware that um, my fire alarm detector duplicator bobber finger majigger on my ceiling is beeping. Just have to make, make this little announcement uh, before I get some, some um, distasteful comments. In the comment section now that we have that squared away let's get to it um first off i have um it is safe for you to love somebody needs to know that um it's definitely safe somebody is realizing <laughs> somebody is realizing that it's safe for them to love i feel like in the past this person were i feel like somebody was unsure now there's kind of like they're being awakened spiritually awakened emotionally awakened oh. I feel like the spirit guides have been working with them. Someone's spirit guide has been putting in overtime <laughs> with this person. I feel like this person was hard-headed. Um, this person is definitely feeling like um, now that it is safe for them to love you. Um, this person has a lot of romantic feelings. I feel like there was something that happened in the past because I had the forgiving and learning card here with the two of cups in reverse, uh, which is letting me know not, yeah, not only that you guys are soulmates because, I mean, the two of cups is still the two of cups, whether it's in reverse or it's in the upright. It's just that when it's in the reverse, I kind of get a sense that soulmates that aren't seeing eye to eye. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like, yes, this person is your soulmate. Yes, this person, I feel like they've been knowing that they that they've been your soulmate. I feel like they're have I feel like they have their guards up. Now they're realizing that it is safe for them to love you. Or you could be feeling this way. I feel like um something happened. I don't know. I, I, it could have been on your end or their end. And something happened where you guys weren't seeing eye to eye. I feel like someone is waiting um, on their ships to come in. Or maybe this person is waiting for something to pan out in their favor before they can come in and make an offer to you. I feel like this person wants to come in and balance out the scales with you. I feel like in the past, um, they were, you know, just not fair. They were, you know, just withholding things from you. And they just want to come pour into your cup now. In the past, I feel like they were just pouring the shit out. You know, you was giving them your love, giving them your time, your emotions. Telling them how you feel. And they were just pulling the shit out. You turn your back. They pull the shit out. You know. Uh, but I feel like this person wants to come back and um, bring balance into your life. I feel like this person views you as their sunshine. This person is someone is trying to manifest you back into their life. So what this person is manifesting you back into their life. We have the Emperor card here out on the table. Which is letting me know that this person probably focuses a lot on work and their pinnacle. Their money. I feel like this person is very stable, very grounded. This person, um, somebody could also have suffered from some type of um, addiction problem. It's drinking, overindulgence of alcohol. Someone could also find out about a pregnancy as well. Maybe this person um, knows something about a pregnancy and they need to come forth and let you know. Maybe you know something about a pregnancy, but I feel like there's definitely some something dealing with, with the pregnancy. I feel like in the past, there's definitely been a lack of communication between you and this person. But um, communication will be coming in swiftly. I have two communication cards here out on the table. One of them is in reverse, which is letting me know that in the past, this person was withholding information from you, possibly because of work. I feel like they couldn't say much to you. They pretty much um, buried themselves in their job, trying to ground themselves. But I feel like you should be hearing from this person very soon. They're going to come in swiftly uh, to, to reach, to talk to you, possibly through text message. Yeah, I feel like the situation left you or this person feeling, uh, feeling defeated. This person could have possibly felt defeated because they wanted to express themselves to you and they did not know how. I have offer cards all on my on my, on my damn table. Okay. Someone is slow as fuck. But they're stable with their shit though. You know what I'm saying? Like they plan out everything down to a T. 
everything behind the scenes, every fucking thing. This person is very, very, very just on point with it. And I feel like this person has just been really taking their time by bringing this offer to you. But like they're coming, they're just moving in um, slowly with the offer, but you should definitely receive some communication coming in from this person. I feel like someone feel like there's still some um, a lack of clarity. I feel like somebody feel like feels feels as though that the truth is being with, with, withheld from them. Like someone is, isn't telling. When this person comes back, they're going to, they're not going to be telling you everything. That's the thing. They're not going to be telling you everything. Everything that you feel like you need to know, they're not going to be telling you everything. Though they view stability in you, and you guys could very well, you know, have abundance within each other. This person views you as being stable. Like, they see this in you. It's just right now they can't come to you with, with, the, true, with the full truth right now. And I feel like the truth is that they are deciding to no longer... Um, because I feel like somebody was juggling the idea of, do I want this? Do I not want this? But I feel like they've made their mind up because my two of pentacles is um, in reverse. They have definitely made up their mind about you. It's just they ask getting here is the damn problem. I feel like you've been waiting for a while for this person. This person wants to come out of conflict with you. They no longer want to be in conflict with you for sure. Yeah, this person has uh, received some type of spiritual download. Like I said, I feel like their spirit guides have been working overtime, dropping hints, songs on the radio, um, smells, just seeing people that look like you or vice versa. You could have been, you know, receiving these type of signs and messages from the universe as well. I just feel like that was the universe's way of, you know, like, guiding. I feel like this person has been spiritually guided back towards you, whether they know it or not. This person is coming back to make some things right with you. I feel like there was some type of betrayal, even though my betrayal card is not here right now. I just get a deep sense of something happened. And this person is not telling you the full truth right now. They're not telling you the full truth. They're coming in to bring an offer to you. It's just that right now, they feel like it's best if they not reveal everything to you. This person definitely has a lot of love for you. And I feel like you guys have been distant from each other lately. And like I said, they are trying to manifest you back into, into their lives. What other what messages you have for Leo? Yeah. Could possibly be dealing with an Aquarius. Because I have my star card here out on the table. This person views you as the one. They're a star. I feel like, let me, and you know what? Now that I'm looking at this card, there are other stars around. I mean, Literally, this person possibly had a lot of other options, but you the, you are the biggest star. Like, I feel like they would choose you over them any fucking day. I feel like they haven't expressed this to you, though. What else? What other messages you have? Yeah. I feel like that was some type of conflict that you had with this person. Possibly on because of lack of communication. Maybe, you know, you just feel like you wanted to hear more from this person or you was tired of this person keeping things from you. Maybe this person in the past was turning down offers from you because they had a lot of fucking options. But, like I said, they received some type of spiritual download. Possibly with the last uh, moon that came in. This person chose you. This person's going to come in and... Clear some shit up with you. This person views you as being stable. Someone that they can have children with. Someone who can hold down the home. This person views you as, like I said, stability. I feel like you guys went through some type of cycle that had to happen. This, you, Whatever happened between you and this person, whether it was an argument, a disagreement, 
which caused you guys to go separate, go on your separate paths for a while. It had to happen. That was the only way that this person was going to be able to realize your work and see what's right there in their face. It had to happen. I feel like you guys are just, you know, wrapping up or have in the recent past wrapped up some type of toxic cycle. What else? Yeah, this person was definitely um, indulging in third party situations. I feel like this person had more than just you as an offer. Though they viewed you as being the biggest offer, like being the one that that started outshine all the other stars, I feel like they were a little childish. I ain't gonna lie. They were a little childish. They had a lot of growing that they had to do and they had to, to like see that there was a very big risk of losing you. This had, I keep hearing this had to happen. Like it, it had to happen. Whatever the fuck that means, whatever the, whatever that means, this had to happen. It had to happen like that. That was the only way this person was going to grow the fuck up. It's like spirit had to force them to make a damn decision because they were not going to make one on their own. It's like they was damn near having their cake and eating it too. They were definitely not going to make this decision on their own. And I feel like your absence forced them into some type of tower moment, forced them to grow up. What else? This person, it's like, this person knows that they broke your heart. And they're not communicating this with you. And it's like you're waiting on them to say, I'm sorry. You're waiting on this person to say, I'm sorry. No, Though they're coming to you, they're bringing an offer to you. They're, they're slow about doing it because I feel like they're planning some things behind the scene. This person is still like, as of the present moment, they are not... Um, they're not bringing awareness to what you really want them to talk about. You want them to talk about what the fuck happened. You want them to talk about why did you abandon me? Why, why did you stop talking to me? Why did you go away from me? Like you want them to talk about the fucking heartbreak that was caused to you. And right now they're not talking about that. And I don't think it's because they're a fucked up person. No, I think it's just that they really want to move forward with you. This person just really wants to leave the past in the past. And see, that's another thing about growing up. Once you grow up and you mature, you'll be able to comfortably admit your faults, admit your wrongs. It's like, and this is why my forgiving and learning card, I feel like spirit is wanting you to forgive this person. And don't let the pain that you feel keep you from ignoring this offer because this person i feel like this is the one there's a lot of attraction a lot of chemistry between you and this person i feel like somebody was very controlling though and was possibly trying to control this way um this was going to happen how it was going to go i feel like you're going to be open to hearing what this person has to say you're going to be open to what they have to say. But as soon as you feel like they're bullshitting, bullshitting you, you're going to cut their asses off. That's how I feel. You're going to cut their asses off. This person is coming to bring an offer to you, though. Like, that's for sure. They're coming. They just slow. You want this person to say, I'm sorry. I feel like that's all you want to hear is that I'm sorry. I don't think this person has just ever just completely expressed to you, you know, that how bad they feel, regretful, remorseful they feel for fucking over you. I don't think they've ever expressed that, this to you. And they need to do this. They need to do this. Be peace. Once this person, I feel like you feel as though this is the only way you're going to be able to have peace is, is, is if this person comes to you with the truth and nothing but the truth and just bring you a genuine apology that's the only way you're gonna it's like you want to be at peace but it's like you're constantly thinking about the fucking betrayal i'm not it's like 
I get a sense of you want to accept this person's offer, but you don't know if you don't want to be heartbroken. You don't want to be heartbroken. Watch your words. I feel like when this person comes and talks to you, they have fucked up so that they really need to watch their words. They need to be very careful what they say to you and how they say this shit to you. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this reading up. You guys are awesome. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so that uh, when I record a video, when I upload a video, you guys will get notified. Peace.